Hello everybody, welcome to this quick video tutorial on how to draw a cube. This video is aimed at the semester 2 drawing 2 students uh, doing the National Diploma Civil Engineering at NMMU in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to choose my pen color that I want to draw with. I'm going to go ahead in the properties group and select a color. I'm going to draw in color cyan. I'm going to be drawing a cube 20 meters by 20 meters by 20 meters. In order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is to produce some construction lines at a fixed spacing, so both horizontally and vertically. Let me show you how to do that. First, we need to identify where our draw group is. In the draw group, I need to find out where my construction lines are, and you'll notice that they are shown by this little symbol over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, left click, and you will see that in the command line, I now have an instruction. Please follow these instructions. It says specify point or horizontal vertical angle by set. As I'm just drawing a 20 meter by 20 meter cube, I'm not too fussed where it's going to be in terms of the overall uh, situation of my drawing. I'm going to type in H for horizontal, and you'll notice that a horizontal line appears of infinite length. And I'm going to place it randomly on my screen now by left clicking. I could continue to place lines now, but I want them to be a fixed distance apart. So I'm going to right click and close that command. I'm now going to offset this line by 20 meters to the top. And I'm going to use the offset button, which is found in the modify group over here. It looks like a bit of a cloud. So I'm going to left click on that and you'll see some instructions pop up. I'm going to enter offset distance of 20 units by typing in 20. You'll see my cursor change to a little square. I'm now going to left click on the line, move my cursor in the direction in which I want to offset the line and left click again. I'm going to push escape to clear the command. I'm going to repeat the process now for some vertical lines. Let's do that. Draw, construction line, V for vertical, place the line somewhere, escape to clear the command. I'm now going to offset by 20 meters to the right. So let's use the offset button. 20 meter offset, I'm going to type into the command line, select the line, and specify the direction, and left click. Escape to clear the command. My next objective is to draw in the front face of my cube, which is going to be a square 20 meters by 20 meters. I'm going to go and change my pen color now just to differentiate the lines. So choose a different color, I'm going to choose red. The line type that I'm going to use to draw the front face of my cube with is a polyline. Polylines are nice because they allow us to measure length and area as it treats all the line segments as a continuous line. So let me go and choose that. I'm going to start my polyline in this top right corner and move to each corner in succession. When I get to the last bottom right corner, I'm going to right click and choose the close command. This will close my polyline back onto the start point. There we go. I now have no further use for these construction lines, so I'm going to delete them. How I'm going to delete them is by selecting them, either by clicking on them individually or by creating a selection window and pushing delete. You'll see all that remains is a little square, 20 meters by 20 meters by 20 meters. Let me just check one of these dimensions quickly to make sure. I'm going to use the measure function in the utilities group. I'm going to click on left click on the top right corner, left click on the left top corner, and you'll see in the information section here I have a distance of 20 meters. Good, I'm going to push escape to clear that command. Now what I'm going to do is to create a projection line of 30 degrees. I'm again going to use my construction line, but first I want to change my pen color back to cyan, just to differentiate the different lines. The draw group, choose my construction line, this time specify A for angle, not angry, whatever your survey lecturer told you, that is not angry, but angle, I can take no responsibility for false information. Let's go ahead now and place a angled line by typing in A for angle. 
specifying the angle of 30 degrees enter and there is a 30 degree construction line I'm going to place it the top and the bottom and then on all four points just for the sake of completeness escape to clear the command I would now like to create a copy of this front face 20 meters further back along the projection in order to do that I need to measure 20 meters back along the projection for me the easiest way to do that is by drawing a circle with a given radius so I'm going to go to the circle command I'm going to follow the instructions which is specify the center point for the circle I'm going to click on the top left corner and input a radius of 20 meters you'll see a 20 meter radius circle is produced I'm now going to copy this square and paste it with this as a paste point how to do that well I use the copy command I select the object I want to copy I right click specify the base point and then simply move the item and paste it at the point to which I want to by left clicking I can push escape to clear the command I'm now going to delete the circle by selecting it and pushing delete I'd now like to draw in the other sides on the cube so I'm going to change my pen color back to red and use a normal line now instead of a polyline just to show you how it works and trace in the line repeat that process by right clicking and selecting the repeat line function clearing the function and selecting the function once more I understand that this is maybe not the easiest and fastest way to draw a cube but this is a method I wanted to show you which uses a number of different processes and functions in order to achieve the overall objective of drawing a cube I'm now going to delete the construction lines that I no longer need by selecting them and pushing delete what I'm left with is a cube of dimensions 20 meters by 20 meters by 20 meters thank you very much for watching this video I hope it was helpful remember that this is a first video in a number of videos that we're going to be using to reinforce some of the concepts that we have discussed in class if you have any questions please contact me directly.